this is going to be a little bit different kind of video for you folks. Uh, I'm using somebody else's design, and it's more of a primitive type thing than what I normally do. But I thought it'd be fun for you to see anyway. Timber. Almost need a hewing axe. Removing the bulk of the waste with the hatchet was much faster than using the draw knife alone. Hidden knot there that's probably going to hose me. I'm trying to pseudo steam bend this wood with the moisture present in it. I was trying to make a hoop at the top of the backpack. Well, that ain't going to work. Plan B. Is a brace and bit cheating? running out of daylight today is the morrow and it's raining and I'm not scared of a little rain but the camera would really really hate that this is probably the wrong kind of wedge for greenwood we'll see how it holds up as it dries I need a bigger axe. I just forgot to record the uh, leather straps. Nothing special there and I don't actually know what I'm doing with that. Speaking about not knowing what I'm doing, I'm not really familiar with working with green wood other than I know you gotta get stuff framed up before it dries. So in my rush I did make one mistake. I measured so this bar would sit right on top of my glutes where there's kind of a shelf. And then this, the bottom of this bar would clear the bony protrusion of my shoulder blades. And that was 20 inches. Well, my problem is I made it 20 inches inside to inside when it should have been 20 inches bottom to bottom. So we'll see. Hopefully it still sits right. Uh, the shoulder straps are going to come out the bottom of here. So if worse comes to worse, I should be able to put a little spacer here. So anyway, let's continue. I guess I should have made a mallet out of a hunk of tree. Be more authentic.
sewed these up off camera because I just wanted to sit and chill on the couch with my wife. But I broke two needles doing it. It was kind of interesting watching the metal fatigue happen. All of a sudden the needles started bending real easy after using them for a while. And then both of them, the failure point was the eye exploding. I'll ride something like that. Dang, that's actually comfy. Huh. So the frame's a little bulky, but I plan on whittling it down in camp, kind of rounding some of the edges and removing weight otherwise. Thanks for watching and please check out these videos from the inventor.